your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins, please do check out mmoexp.com. Links down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. Yes then YouTube we are back but before we get started guys if you want to drop a like on today's video for me and please hit that subscribe button to my channel we are so close to 25,000 that would mean the world to me and last out of the stream I do plug them not as often as I should but you see the logo in the bottom right and bottom left hand side of your screen it is to the Luke's website I'm wearing his gear right now use the code wolf20 at the checkout in Luke1977.com's website trust me the best clothes out there, and he's a Villa fan as well, so make sure you go and support him. So, we are back with a 20 and 0 updated custom tactics video for you guys. No gameplay in this video, it's just going to be straight to the tactics and the um, playing instructions and stuff like that. If any of you were in last night's stream, you will see we went 20 and 0. Well, we went 19 and 0 and then gave the last game away because there's no point in getting 20, it literally makes no difference. So, yeah, we went 19 and 0 with this team, and yes, it is a stacked team. I was actually trying out Cap de Villa this week, a left back. Very, very, very good card. So, the main formation that I used this week was the 4-3-2-1. And this was how I set my team up in the 4-3-2-1. Okay, so it was R9 striker, Mbappe on the right, Pele on the left, and then Messi on the left centre mid. Bellingham and Ruud Hullet, of course, as the other central midfielders. Back four, pretty obvious. The custom tactics that I used with the 4-3-2-1 are like so. Balanced on the defensive style. It's never, ever, 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 ever going to change from that, really, YouTube. It's just not... 45 on the width, along with 70 depth. I've upped my depth back to 70 now. I'm having a lot more enjoyment with it, and I'm really, really, really enjoying it. But if you do struggle defensively, YouTube, lower your depth down to 55. As I always say, I used to play 55 anyway, but I'm enjoying playing a little more aggressive again now. So I've upped it to 70. So I play 70. If you want to be aggressive like me, play 70. But also be honest with yourself. Think to yourself, um, can I defend? Yes or no? The answer is no. Or do I struggle defensively? And the answer is yes. 55 is the way to go. Balanced and direct passing, of course, is the way. It's never, ever, 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 ever going to change from that, YouTube. It's just not. It's never, ever, ever going to change from that. It's so good. I can't sit here and bullshit you and tell you to use, like, oh, use direct passing, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, use uh, forward runs and possession. Like, yeah, they don't work, man. Balanced and direct passing works. That's what's good. So that's what I use. 45 on the width. Really, really, really enjoying that. That hasn't changed too much in the 4-3-2-1. Sometimes I use 50. Sometimes I use 45. And the minute 45 is what's working good for me. So that's what we're rocking and rolling with. <coughs> Six players in the box. Really, really, really liking that. That's working absolute wonders for me at the minute. Like, really, really, really good. So six players in the box. Two corners and two free kicks. The player instructions. Just getting behind on the two stri on the striker and the right forward. So just getting behind. That is it. My left forward, Pele, he is on comeback on defence. My left centre mid is on getting to the box for cross and cover centre. My middle centre mid, stay back while attacking and cover centre. And then my right centre mid, cover wing. Well, com literally completely default setting, so don't touch him at all. My right back is on stay back while attacking. And then my left back is on join the attack and overlap. But it doesn't matter if you want to flip that. Just as long as one of your full backs is on join the attack. So we defend in a back three. And then comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So that was the main formation I used. The second formation was a formation that I did drop a video on yesterday, which is going to be somewhere over there. I'm going to put it all down below. Link to that video. That is the 3-4-2-1. I freaking love this formation. It is so, so, so OP at the minute, YouTube. Like, ridiculously OP. Like, ridiculous, ridiculously, ridiculously OP. So that's how I played the 3-4-2-1. R9 striker, Mbappe and Pele. Right forward and left forward. Messi on the left, left mid. Hakimi on the right mid. Two centre midfields are, are pretty obvious. And then back three, again, pretty obvious as well. Although I did play like that. The tactics are the, exactly the same as they were in that video as well. So balanced on the defensive style. 40 on the width, 55 depth. Remember, I do normally play 70. But this formation is a three at the back. So I don't actually want to go too YOLO and too gung-ho with it. So that's why 55 depth works. Balanced and direct passing, again, it's never going to change from that. Ever, ever, ever. 50 on the width. <coughs> Excuse me. Six players in the box, two corners and two free kicks like so. Player instructions. Stay central and getting behind on the striker. Left forward and right forward. Completely default. I do not touch them. Yes, that is right. I do not touch them. Right mid. Come back on defence and get into the box for cross. That is the same for my left midfield as well. Come back on defence, get into the box cross. Both central midfielders stay back while attacking and cover centre. And then back three the same. Comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So, 
They're the main two tactics that I did use. What's going on here? Oh, I've come out of it. That's why. They're the main two tactics that I did use. Last one was the 4 triple two. I didn't actually use this at all this weekend, but it was a tactic. Oh, no, I did. I switched into it, I think, in like the last 10 minutes of a game once. So, because of that, I'm going to show you the tactics that I did use with the 4 triple two. It is like so. Exactly the same as the 4 3 2 one. Balanced 45 on the width, 70 depth. Again, YouTube. Again. Be honest with yourselves. Do you struggle defensively? If so, 55. If not, 70. Balanced and direct passing. 45 on the width again. These tactics are actually, the way I look at this actually, they are identical to the 4 3 2 1. Absolutely identical. And then player instructions. Stay central, get in behind, and come back on defence on the two strikers. <coughs> Lamb in the ram. Come back on defence and get into the box for cross. Two CDMs. I have them both on balanced and cover centre. But if you struggle offensively, put one of them on stay back while attacking. Both full backs on stay back while attacking. And then comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there is my 20 and 0 custom tactics literally from last night, Sunday night. It's now Monday evening as you're watching this video. That was Sunday night. So thank you for watching, guys. Please, please, please drop a like and drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to my channel. So close to 25k. It would mean the world to me if you could do that. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.